Hey guys, what's going on? So in this video, I actually want to talk about something completely different that I normally don't talk about and just kind of explain to you, you know, what's going through my head, you know, and you know, make it seem like I'm crazy anyway. So what's going through my head and kind of give you an idea of where I was last year and where I am this year and, you know, just the steps that I took to grow, uh, not, you know, just personally, um, financially and business, uh, you know, mentally, physically, um, everything. Um, so last year at this time, I was I was still doing videos. I was still doing my Amazon FBA stuff. I was doing a little bit of coaching. Um, I still had my Kindle publishing business going. Uh, it was going better last year than it is this year. So that is the one you know thing that is going the opposite way. Uh, but I've also put less time into it. So that's going good. Merch is going good this year, which was not around which is not around for me last year because I wasn't approved until about two months ago, until the beginning of August. So, um, you know, merch is going good. You know, everything's going good. You know, physically, I feel I feel okay. Um, and this this is the hard part for me because I was always I was always in the gym every single night. You know, the only day I would not go to the gym was Saturday. I'd go Sunday. I'd go Sunday. You know, right around like noon. Uh, every other day, I'd go at nine o'clock. Um, 9 p.m. every day, Monday through Friday, Saturday I take off. I haven't been doing that because I don't have the time. Now, and for you, for you, you guys are always in the gym. Not, I'm not saying I never go to the gym. I go to the gym quite a bit, but I don't have the time to go every single night at nine o'clock because a lot of times I have stuff that carries over. Uh, I don't live the typical lifestyle. I don't live. I don't have a typical day job. Um, I don't have a typical yo know, day. It's I do whatever I want throughout the day. Like my son, um, you know, he's only three years old. So a lot of days I just want to I just don't stay home with him. Now last year I didn't have that luxury. Well, my wife was staying home with him actually last year, but at this time, but I didn't have that luxury last year because I was doing so much. And so what I was doing is I just put my head down. I just focus on one certain task. And that's where I feel that most people are struggling. You know, if, if you're watching this video and you're like, oh, you know, oh, maybe I should do merch, maybe I should do Kindle, uh, eBay, Craigslist, you know, Amazon FBA, you know, uh, maybe I should get into real estate stocks, you know, what should I do? Now, I talk about all this stuff because I do it. Now, did I start all this stuff, you know, in the very beginning all at one time, you know, in the same day? No, I didn't. Uh, you know, that would be a huge mistake. And that's where I feel a lot of people are making a mistake is that, you start one business, you get it going just enough that you understand it, you know, like Amazon FBA, and then that's like some something new comes around, or another guy says, oh, "I'm making this much money, you're doing this," and so you're off on that thing too. And I understand that. I understand, you know, you see the big picture, you want to do everything, and you think, okay, if I devote a little bit of time to this and this and this, and I do everything this week, or you know, I'm spending you know, five hours a week on all these different things. In a year or two years, you're going to be very far. Every single one of those should be, you know, should be, uh, you know, quite a bit further than where it is today. But at the same time, I would focus on one thing. This is what this is where I, I made a conscious decision to not do everything at once, and it was hard because I wanted to. Because I was watching people on YouTube. I was watching, you know, people that were making a lot of money with eBay. I was watching people, you know, like John Chow, Jeremy Shoemaker, uh, you know, even Pat Flynn, um, you know, making all this money with with websites and making money with affiliate marketing and doing all this. And I wanted to get in on, in on that, but at the same time, I knew at that time I didn't I didn't have the the time. I had the resources, but that was all I had. I didn't have all the experience that I needed to really see a business grow. And so because of that. I instead of d deciding to do all this all this stuff at one time, what I did is I decided I was gonna make hundreds of websites. Now I took I took a simple strategy and I just confused it um, to pieces because I had this simple strategy. Okay, I'm gonna make this website, do this, do that. You know, it's gonna be up running. Move on to the next one. Now I said I'm just gonna buy a bunch of websites. I'm gonna start putting putting out content, doing all stuff, hiring writers, getting a whole team together. And so I just confused the whole strategy and I can tell you now um, you know what I learned from that was I did too much I did too much I didn't hire out some of the work um, that I should have 
and because of that um, you know a lot of those websites aren't even around anymore but the whole point of this video is you know stick to something that you know stick to something that you you'll feel comfortable doing um, I made a lot of mistakes in the very beginning and I'm not just talking about mistakes with websites or you know with Amazon FBA I'm talking about mistakes with stocks I was just so eager to get in and buy you know I didn't care what it was. I didn't understand how to read a graph. I didn't understand how to uh, read the charts. Um, you know, look at all the the history. I didn't know that stuff. Even now, it's like I understand it, but and I want to get into these stocks, and I know that I'm pretty sure they're going to do good. But at the same time, it's like I need to do some more research. I need to figure this out. And so, it's not just stocks. You know, it's everything. Real estate. Uh, you know, buying your first house, your second house, your third house, whatever it is. You know. The, the process is the same every single time, but you need to do your research. You need to know what you're getting into, um, and and I get that, okay? So the mistakes that I made, you know, like I made mistakes with websites. Obviously, I built too many too fast. Didn't have the team to, to run them all. Um, you know, not only that, it's every single website was the exact same, and I, I took this template and ran with it because it was easy. It was easy. I could throw it up on a, on a WordPress site. Uh, it was the WordPress site, and... It would be up and running in probably, you know, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, have all the plugins going, everything um, it looked exactly the same. And after a while, I think Amazon kind of caught on to, or not Amazon, Google caught on to that, and kind of hit a lot of my sites with their with their algorithm changes. And and so, you know, I know some of you guys probably are thinking, well, what's this guy talking about? I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to explain to you some of the mistakes I made because I don't want you guys to make make those same mistakes. You know, right now. There's a lot of people out there that, you know, they're wanting to get into Amazon. Okay, Amazon, that's that's my big thing right now, and I'm I'm saying right now because I'm always doing something different. You know, who knows? Maybe maybe in six months I won't even be in Amazon. Now, I don't see that happening because of the money that is there and the growth that I'm seeing. I'm so far my predictions for Amazon have been correct. Amazon was looking at opening, you know, uh, like local bookstores. They did that. Amazon's looking at doing, you know, uh, getting bigger into grocery. They started doing that. And then I kept saying, like last year, and you we can watch some videos. Uh, I don't know which ones they are, but there's videos where I'm actually talking about how I believe grocery is going to be bigger than health and personal care and beauty. The reason I thought that was because I had a feeling Amazon was going to try to open up a grocery store. And from everything that I've been hearing, uh, news, you know, the rumors over in Seattle, you know, Bellevue, uh, you know, Amazon's growing. Amazon is going to take over the Seattle you know, area very soon, but they're growing extremely fast and they're already trying to open up grocery stores. And, you know, and so I think it's just a matter of time before my vision of Amazon actually comes true. Um, so I, I don't think I'm ever going to get out of Amazon, you know, but that's that's right now, you know, October 11th or whatever today is, um, 2016, you know, I don't have a, a plan to get out of Amazon. Um, I have a plan to grow everything else, I have a plan to grow Amazon. Um, you know, and that's one of the mistakes I know I made in the very beginning with other things was I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a, I didn't have a, like a surefire plan. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. If this happens, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, you know, I'm going to go this route. And then if, you know, I get, you hit a roadblock, I'm going to come here and I didn't have that. And I think that was an issue. Um, the reason I say I think it was an issue because, like when when I had all my websites and I was making I was making great money with Google AdSense, and I had all these websites they all had Google ads on them, everything. My YouTube channels all had that. Um, the, they were all monetized with Google AdSense um, through the YouTube program and or getting through YouTube views. And one day I wake up and my account was banned. My uh, wasn't banned. My my Google AdSense account was suspended. Didn't know why. I ended up being suspended because of one of my websites. Now, at that time, I didn't have a plan. So what did I do? I took all my websites and I sold them. Okay, not all of them. I kept like you know 100 and something. But I took you know over 300 websites, 400 websites, and I sold them. Sold the ones that I could sell. You know and transferred all the files, did all that, and you know, that that sucks if you ever have to do that. Made some money, and I moved it. I moved my business in a different direction. Um, it took me a long time to do that. It took me, okay, not a long time, it took me about five or six months to sell all those sites, 
um, sell domain names, you know, whatever it was. And I transitioned my business into, you know, doing more, you know, freelance writing, doing more individual, more authority sites. And I got into doing a little bit of uh, online coaching uh, for uh, websites and, you know, building that. And, and it wasn't until, it wasn't until, I, I never hit like rock bottom and I still haven't. So that's something that, you know, I always say people grow the most when they hit rock bottom. You know, no, nobody knows what rock bottom is going to be. You know, I've, I've ran into people that have, that were homeless and I even had a, I even had a client that was homeless and went from homeless to making a lot of money. So he wasn't, he wasn't, that wasn't rock bottom to him. You know, rock bottom is on, on the verge of death. And so, you know, when you hit rock bottom, you will realize the mistakes you made. I don't want you guys to, you know, to get to that point and not be able to realize the mistakes you made. I don't want you to regret the decisions that you made in the past or even now, you know, looking into the future, you know, what do you plan on doing this weekend? What do you plan on doing next week? You know, what decisions are going to, are going to come up that you have to make a decision that, that instant, you know, what, what's it going to be? So anyway, you know, that's, that's just my whole thing, you know, for this video is, and, and it all came about because, you know, I was looking at my numbers. I was looking at my the bank account numbers, just seeing, you know, where was I last year? Where am I this year? How much have I grown over the, the past 10 years? And I didn't, you know, 10 years ago, I didn't think I'd be where I am today. You know, last year, I didn't think I'd be where I am today. You know, even yesterday, um, the amount of growth that I've had since yesterday is still substantial. That's not something I'm, I'm going to you know, talk about, but, you know, and that's that's not only, you know, in business, you know, in life, you know, re relationship stuff, you know, been married for uh, <laughs> coming on nine years. Yeah, coming, coming up on nine years, been married maybe eight years. All right. <laughs> I think it's eight years. Anyway, so. No, it's nine. Um, so I'm coming up on nine years being married. Um, no, it's eight years. Okay, it's eight years. So anyway, don't give me a hard time on that one. My wife will. Um, so it's been, we've been married for almost eight years. Um, relationship is still strong. Um, you know, kids, you know, got two kids. And my relationship with them, even though I work a lot, is I will, I will, you know, come get my kids from home. And I'll take them with me. You know whether I go sourcing. That's why I source toys because my kids love toys. They love them. They love Paw Patrol. They love, you know, Blaze and the Monster Machines. Uh, I got two boys. You know, Nerf guns, Legos, whatever it is, board games. They love it all. So that's why I do that. But you know, my wife. You know, she loves. You know, going. You go know, shopping a lot. You know, she likes getting new shoes. Uh, you know, in her closet, she probably has. She probably has about twenty to maybe 20 to 30 pairs that she has never even worn, still in boxes, um, but I can't sell them. You know, I would, but uh, she won't let me sell them. So anyway, no big deal. But you know, in in life, you, you'll come across decisions that you need to make immediately. Other, other decisions that you can kind of make, you know, when the time, time, time comes. But I just want to shoot this video because I thought it was pretty important that, you know, I talked about not only where I was and you know, next year, hopefully I'll remember to watch this video and kind of see where I was and, you know, what I was talking about. And, you know, maybe my, my video, maybe my video style is going to change. Um, who knows? Maybe my video style will change. I'll probably look a little bit different. Um, and hopefully by then, uh, I'll be in, I'll have a new office, new house. Um, I don't know, probably not a new car. I like the car I have. It's comfortable. So anyway. Uh, I think I'm going to conclude the video here only because I think I've been talking for too long. But uh, I know it's more of a rant video. But, you know, just just see kind of where you where you came from, you know, last year, you know, last you know, six months ago. What were you doing? Where you are now? And kind of, you know, plan for success. Plan for your growth for the next six months or a year. I guarantee you most people that do it are planning for short-term success. So it's like, okay, what am I going to do this weekend? You know, how am I gonna pay for this bill? You know, how am I gonna pay for that? I I was worried about money for a long time. I didn't know what I was. I didn't come. I didn't. My upbringing wasn't. I wasn't. We weren't like extremely wealthy or anything. You know, we were we were well off. But you know, money was was never an issue. 
money used to be an issue for me when I was when my wife and I first got married we were just kind of like okay we need to pay for this I want to do this I need to do that you know I have all these investments to do it's like now it's okay we're just gonna go we're just gonna spend whatever we need to because we know the money's there that's a great feeling to have I'm not not trying to brag but you know honestly I, I'm bragging about where I the work that I've done the the motivation that it was inside of me to you know succeed and get further um, so you know, if you if you have that same motivation and you are excited about where your life is going, the the decisions you made, hit that like button. Uh, I don't see how many people are actually excited about their life and decisions that they made. So, anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. You guys probably have a bunch of other things to do that are more important than watch me just talk about whatever I've been talking about. So, uh, yeah, talk to you guys soon.